sets did we see? Um, well, after that, there was, I, I mean, I opened a lot, but yeah. after that, there was uh, a girl who's 5'11". Yeah. Tall, blonde, I recall Estonian. Her. Right. And uh, I liked her. Yeah. So I just went in. And she was dancing with a, a mix set, boy and a girl. That yeah. Old couple. And you can open mix sets. Guys yeah. are ugly girls. You can go into a set with guys, and if you open indirect, you're not hitting on anybody. <clears throat> You can initiate a conversation with everybody. It's almost a secret because most guys don't open mix sets. I think 99% though. I think and that's most guys that don't open mix sets. They know about game 99% yeah. though. They're always looking for that special single girl instead of noticing that women of beauty are in groups. And then those groups sometimes have men in them. Yeah. And those men are just ugly girls. You can open those sets. Ooh. It's rewarding if you do. I it's mean, a rewarding experience to snag a girl from a mixed set. The more beautiful the girl is, the more likely she's going to be in a mixed set. She's going to have orbiters. <clears throat> well, think of it like this as well. Um, we assume that less than 1% of the population of the world know about game. Sure. Right? Sure, easily. And some of them are women, so most you of can those make guys, it even smaller. Most of those guys, not, not with us, most of the guys in the club, they went home alone. Yes. You know, the conversion rate is and guess what? Is a low. lot of them girls went home alone. Yeah. They did, they Macaulay Culkin did, home alone. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> <laughs> and They went home alone. They went home alone. And they, they didn't want to go home alone. I'm pretty sure that most of them girls did not want to go home alone. They just, no one had the moxie and the courage to go up there. But think of it like this, if, if less than 1% of people know about game, and then probably 20% of them are actually actively using game, and then 1% of that 20% is opening mix sets, mm -hmm. there's only probably a couple of thousand people in the world opening mix sets. Right, right, so consciously. Literally, opening. there's gonna be no one else in the club that opens mix sets. You'll always, you'll practically always be the only person. Now, one of the so-called scary sets is the couple. Is a mixed set that's a two set. A couple, right. A guy and a girl. And it turns out, I've pulled girls from couples yeah. many a time, because it turns out they're not always together. Yeah, you're not and, a mind reader. <laughs> right, don't be a mind reader and presume that they're together. And the truth is, even if they are together, they appreciate you approaching them. I've been out in, a public gathering in a club in a venue with my girlfriend and been bored stiff because nobody talks to us because right. we're a couple right so after we make out a little bit in a public gathering uh, public displays of affection aside we've got nothing else to do we're talking to each other and then everyone else is ignoring us because we are a couple right so when someone comes and initiates a conversation equally with both of us I'm disarmed. Yeah. I'm appreciative of yeah. them coming to talk to me, right? Especially if they're not hitting on her and making me feel discomfort from that or making her feel uncomfortable from doing that. Mm. They just spontaneously start a topical conversation with us. That works. And then they could find out whether we're together or we're just friends. I've been out with a pivot yeah, like before. How do you know each other? Yeah, how do you all know each other? Catch me up to speed. Well. The thing is, it could be just her really good friend, it could be her brother, or it could be her gay friend. Or an orbiter. Or, a guy or who's just trying to get in, just has a chance. Him. And won't leave the set. And won't leave the set. Yeah. I keep those guys around. Sometimes they want to blow themselves out and say, oh, sorry, yeah. and, and leave. I like them to stick around. Yeah. Because I can convey my personality to him obliquely uploading my DHVs, my demonstrations of mm -hmm. higher value, to the girl without also... having to brag straight to her. Yeah, I can brag to, to him. Guy. Yeah. I'm talking to a dude. Yeah. And she's listening. She's in earshot. And also, she's going to be comparing you both and going, well, he wins this, he wins this, right. he wins this, he wins this. So, um, and even if they are together, and they're really cool, you can tell they're, really, they're a really cool couple, um, you can befriend them like I did one of the nights I befriended this really cool couple, really good looking cool couple. That you bumped into the next day. Yeah, 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 which I bumped into the next day. But that night they took me to an after party, me and one of the students, and yeah. we parted till 6 a.m. Yeah. And I met tons of girls at this party. It was a fabulous party. So 
you know, you can befriend people and they can bring you to awesome places, especially if you're new in that city, because they're like the cool people in that city. So it's invaluable, like it's gold. Lead the men and the women follow. Yeah. And then we, and then they'd sent me a location where they were going to be in the park next day for the festival. Oh, okay. But That's we random, bumped into them. No, oh, okay. I ran, we random. randomly bumped into them as the first people we bumped into. Right. But it looked like I came to find them, right. which was awesome. But I was going to find them anyway. Okay. I just didn't have time yet. Well, she was beautiful. Yeah, she was, beautiful. was beautiful. He was cool. Girl. He was a cool, cool handsome guy. dude. Cool cat. And um, they were really cool to hang with. So I met tons of people through mm -hmm. them. Some of the reasons for opening sets are not necessarily to attract the specific girl that you have uh, attraction for. Yeah. It's to have fun. Yep. It's to actually indulge in the conversation itself. There's reason for that. So sometimes you'll slow down the pickup in order to grab a group of people and while you could technically target one person from that group and try your best to sneak her home real fast, what I prefer is merging that set into another set so that I have some social proof mm. that next set will be even hotter, yep. will be more accepting of my presence, I've got pre-selection. And you've got into a talkative state. Plus I'm in a talkative state, exactly. Because mixed sets are really easy to I'm talk to. I'm in mode, yeah. People don't know that, they think they're harder, they're easier. Yeah. You know, you've got the dynamics. Doesn't look like you're really hitting on anyone either, does it? Especially if who you would go be talk daft, to a guy, then Who would look be at the daft women. enough to go into a mixed set and try to snag a girl from a group of guys? Yeah. Who would be daft enough? Well, us. <laughs> us. These guys. <laughs> but that's why we win. That's why you can win. I saw you display some great great uh, magic and set opening, controlling frame, control it, lording the crowd as I was were. lording the crowd, And sure. you brought everyone over, you moved them to the table, which obviously moving is very powerful. And uh, just everyone was captivated. But you also, there was that place when we went to Tier and Pelly, right. and we had that really high energy, cute, exciting girl who wanted to sort of control the frame all the time. Right, she And then you smart. took the frame, yeah. yeah, you took the frame off her. And you did something that made her just shriek out in like bliss. Yeah, everyone turned to and me. And everyone turned, and that's Wondering it. what was happening. And that's your social proof. Yeah, I got oh. her screaming twice. There you go. Yeah. So that was, that was something to behold. And, and something the for the students it. to see. Exactly. exactly. A lot of what we do is demonstrative to show the students what is possible. And that way they too can do it. Because what one man can do, another can do. I believe in that strongly. Mm -hmm. It's not... Uh, I'm not a special snowflake. Yeah. You know, it's about proficiency. Yeah. Are you proficient at opening a three set? Are you proficient at handling that external interrupt? Are you proficient at qualifying the girl? Can you qualify? You have to get back on the plot line of pickup. It can't just be banter. Idle banter leads nowhere. So you have to get back onto the pickup game plan. And I think a lot of people miss out on qualifying the girl. Yeah. That is a real high value of male behavior. Yep. I have to do that now, because you have to screen them. When you get so many girls in your life, mm -hmm. you have to start qualifying. And that's the reason hot women qualify men. We use that game plan, reverse I it. I from women. Exactly. Yeah. Because otherwise, you'll have no time on your hands mm -hmm. <laughs> to do anything. And qualifying, I believe, lasts much longer than attraction phase. Mm. The attraction phase is a first impression. It's three to five minutes of, of uploading some DHVs or bragging spikes into the target's head. Hopefully not directly, but to the group. Yep. So that obliquely she feels that you're more attractive. Yeah, totally. And then you start to qualify, and qualifying is a high-valued male behavior. So if you get 80% of attraction, which is really pre-selection, is, is the majority of attraction. It's a good it presumes, hack way in. Yeah, it presumes all the other uh, attractive characteristics. Yep. You must have them if you have women with you, yep. right? Then the very act of qualifying, it being too a high-valued male behavior, she'll be attracted to that. She'll be attracted to you, right? So the, the, the basic, let's put it in the most basic form, is you open a set of women mm -hmm. and you get the attraction, lead them over to... Stay, uh, phase one, phase yeah. two, 
lead them into another group of maybe that's your target merging you know, really hot set yeah so merge them in moving the set and now you're the you're lording the situation yeah you've moved the set you're lording the situation introducing these people to these people and becoming the social butterfly and you've got pre-selection and now you just qualify and now you start to you just qualify. qualify from the back yeah practically yeah that's it that's a quick hack yeah I mean, you it's can, you can it's really knowing, speed your game up. Knowing the phases allow you to become efficient. Yeah. Or the word I like is proficient. Yeah. Right? Proficiency. That's the word for the day. Becoming technically proficient at a series of maneuvers. Like, for instance, DHVing. Do you have your DHV material already in your mind? Do you know the stories that you're going to tell? What, what worked in the past is going to work again in the future, so you'll stick to them. They're gambits, they're game pieces. Certain game pieces are useful in certain phases of the structure of pickup. Now, I've let go of structure in many ways in my mind. It's there, it's imprinted it's, into my motor response, yeah. right? So you've got your structure down. The, the phases in that lead to a very pleasing narrative arc of a love story, right? How do you meet people? This, is, this happens in phases. Then you have the material that meets the objectives of those phases. And if you have two or three stories or gambits, game pieces, for each phase, then you could move from phase to phase efficiently, completing the objectives of each phase, which is to get you to the next phase. You don't jump over phases. Yep. Get your material down, and then you can focus on delivery. <clears throat> Some guys, they just think you're going to be a natural. Just focus on delivery. But without structure, without material, what are you delivering? 